In this video, I'll show you how to export cards and get them printed with Make Playing Cards. So I have a deck over here in Dexterous. I'm going to export it. I've optimized this one for bleed. Um, the step here that you don't want to miss is actually adding the bleed. So I'm going to add my three mils of bleed. Three mils is something that Make Playing Cards and Launch Tabletop and Game Crafter and a few other big um, printers like. So once I've got my bleed, I'm going to click export and generate PNG images. I do want the card backs and 300 DPI is good. Um, you do need 300 DPI for launch tabletop. For make playing cards, I think you can go higher, but you need at least this. So I'm going to export now. While this is exporting, I'll head over to make playing cards here and just show you how to get the cards that we want. Um, on the front page of Make Playing Cards, you've got this custom playing cards here. I'm just going to click there. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. I've done this so many times. It's the custom one here, not the ace one. So the second one there. Then what I'm looking for over here on the right hand side is the 2.5 times 3.5 inches. This is known as Imperial Poker. So I'm going to click that. Some options come up here. I don't want this white or black border one. I don't want the square corners. I want this one right here. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to put through 18 cards just to show you how this works. But obviously, the settings here will be um, something that you can customize. And then I'm going to click Start Your Design. We don't want um, text. We just want different images because we're going to upload those PNGs. So here they are. Here's the 18 cards ready. You can see here that they've actually got this red dotted line. And that is the safe area. Um, so if you've designed your cards to fit inside that safe area, you'll see that they should roughly match there. So now in my downloads, I'm just going to grab those PNGs that exported. So I'm going to right click, extract all. And on this screen here, I'm going to click extract. So these images are now ready. And all you need to do is grab the fronts. I'm just going to get 18 here, so 0 to 17. Drag them into this kind of gray area over here, and they are going to upload. Once they've uploaded here into Make Playing Cards, you can double click each one to kind of fill a slot over here ready for printing. Now I've actually got nine cards here. I'm going to click them each twice. So you can also hit that auto fill button if, if you like, but this is just to fill it up and show you. So if you change your mind here, you can actually, you know, print three of this guy, for example. So that's kind of nice. So I'm almost there now. I'm just going to do the rest can be Elf Prince Gwendolyn, apparently. Okay, cool. Now that that's all filled up, I hit next step up the top here. This all looks good. This is just a close up to show where the where the card is. And yep, that looks fine. Next step. Now it's going to ask me for the card backs. Again, we just want images. Um, now it's actually asked me this would be if you have different backs. In my case, I actually only want one back. So I'm actually going to go back one step previous. And I'm going to just now Oh, apparently I can't. Oh, that's all right. I can just upload all the backs here. So I'm going to go back to the backs here and order by name so I can see what's going on. Upload these ones here. Obviously, if these were different, then I could have unique backs for each card. In this case, it's a bit overkill. In that previous screen, you can actually select just to have the same back for each one. But apparently, after you selected it, you can't. Oh, it's actually figured it out. It's actually figured out that they... Please upload more. <laughs> okay. In the previous screen, if you do have all the same backs you can select, you can actually select that. Otherwise, you have to sit here like me and click through them. All right, that looks good. Next step. And next step. Okay, and this is just a preview here of the front and the back of each card. That looks fine. So now I can click. Now this is just a confirming that it's all it all looks good. 
you can add that to your cart. Um, yeah, so that's how you get things ready to print on make playing cards. Now just note here that you are after the 2.5 by 3.5 for the poker, so that's the Imperial poker. Awesome. Thank you.